I talked to you at the spring game and kind of your recovery process, you updated fans and just um, talk about where you're at right now. I've been 100% since around the spring game. So I've just been working out, training, training down in Tulsa with a couple of, uh, actually a couple of alumni, the Victor the Great and uh, Corey, they both play here. They were tackle and uh, defensive tackle. And so they're great players here, played in the NFL for a while. One of the strength and conditioning coaches told me that you know, you must have incredible genes because right. you were just a freak in right. recovery, how yeah. fast and how well you recovered. Well, I had the surgery before, and so the first time I had the surgery, uh, it, took a, it took a while. But this one, like after a couple of weeks, I, was, I just felt fine. And so I, really the main part was to get my strength back. Where you're at now, um, how you've been able to establish yourself, um, what's it like being back on that? It's just crazy. It's like a year ago, I was just now getting here, and so much has happened since I've been here. It's crazy because, you know, I don't know if you know, but I've been an OSU fan my whole life and grew up an OSU fan. And when it was my first offer, I was just excited. And I made the, I pulled the trigger like two weeks after I got the offer. And so I never regretted it ever since I made the decision. And so now being here at this point, it, it made it seem like it was worth it. And so it was really just a dream come true. You had um, a goal sheet, right? Mm -hmm. And you were able to, you know, check all of those goals. Right. Off. What was it like, you know, making that and then looking back yeah. on it? And it's crazy because, you know, I really set my goals high. So, like, some yeah. of those at the beginning of the year, I was like, I'm probably not going to get this. But once the end of the season came around, I actually accomplished pretty much everything. It was just crazy. So, when I sit out this year to make my goal sheet, I got to go even higher. So, <laughs> you know, what does fun. that goal sheet look like, or can you say? Oh, I, don't, I don't know right now. Know we'll find out. Yeah, I haven't sat down and thought about it yet. Do you have a game that you know you thought you played your best in or was a turning point? Really my turning point I should say would be Baylor. Being able to learn that I could actually play at this level and then things I needed to learn all in one game, uh, it was really a turning point. And so the next week came out and learned from the mistake that I made and, and kept doing what I was doing and so uh, I carried that out throughout the season and everything just turned out pretty good. Coach Gundy will always um, you know, say that you're yeah. quiet and compares mm. you to James Washington in right. that way. And I was James like, okay. not even quiet himself. Yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. okay, when I've met Justice. I mean, I'm not the quietest. Like, Coach Gundy always used to say I'm just a quiet guy. I never say anything. I'm not, I'm not that quiet. I'm just about my business. So uh, I'm just a fun guy. I just chill and relax. I'm getting my work done. But even from a young cat, I always used to watch football Saturday from 9, 11 a.m. in the morning until the Pac-12 played it. 11 o'clock at night and, and so football is something I just won't ever see just not being a part of my life and so now I'm here in big stage Oklahoma State and playing for a team I always wanted to play for and so if you say that's a story I guess you could say that's my story.